Hey everyone, today I'm excited to share with you a tutorial on how to create an amazing hard poly photo effect using Photoshop. This technique is great for enhancing your photos and giving them a unique and creative look. So let's get started. First go ahead and open up the photo you want to work with in Photoshop. For this kind of photo effect, portraits tend to work the best. Once your photo is open, you are going to want to duplicate the layer by pressing ctrl or command plus j after that convert the layer to a smart object next navigate to the top menu and select filter pixelate select crystallize this option will give us that blocky pixelated look that perfect for our hard poly photo effect here you will see an option for cell size set it to 30 and then click ok before we move on to the next step, you will need to download and install my poly effect patterns. You can find the link to download them in the description below. The download contains two patterns. One is called low poly and the other is poly lines with dots. These patterns are essential for creating the hot poly effect. To install the patterns, simply double click on the downloaded file. Once your patterns are installed, now double click on the layer to open the layer styles. Choose pattern overlay and then select the low poly pattern. Feel free to adjust the opacity and size to your liking. The settings you choose will depend on the size of your image and what looks best to you. After that convert your layer to a smart object again and duplicate the layer by pressing ctrl or command plus J. Now change the blending mode of the new layer to hard light. Now double click on the layer to open the layer styles and choose pattern overlay again this time select the poly lines and dots pattern and adjust the opacity and scale to your liking i just want to make sure you understand an important point before we move forward we applying the second pattern it's crucial that you keep the size of the new pattern the same as the previously applied pattern this consistency will ensure that your hot poly effect looks cohesive and visually appealing However, you can feel free to change the opacity to whatever suits your taste and needs of your image. Alright, we are almost there. Now, we are going to take our image to the next level by adding levels and curves adjustment. This step will help enhance the contrast and color balance making your photo pop even more. First, find the levels adjustment in the adjustment panel. Once you are in the levels adjustment, you will see three sliders, one for the shadows one for the midtones and one for the highlights. Now play around with these sliders to adjust the intensity and balance of the shadows, midtones and highlights in your image. This step will add depth and dimension to your photo, making the hot poly effect really stand out. After adjusting the levels, let's move on to the curves adjustment. Again, find this in the adjustment panel. The curves adjustment allows for even more precise control over the tonal range of your image. You can add points along the curve line and move them up or down to lighten or darken specific tonal areas. This is a great way to fine tune the contrast and color balance in your photograph. And remember there is no right or wrong way to adjust the levels and curves. It all depends on your personal preference and the specific needs of your image. So feel free to experiment and play around with the settings until you achieve the look you desire. For the final touch up, I'm going to add a color lookup adjustment layer. I'm going to select film stock from the drop down menu, but feel free to experiment with other options to see what looks best for your image. And finally, I'm going to change the blending mode of this layer to soft light. And that's it. Here is before and after comparison. Creating this hot poly photo effect is so easy and fun, right? With these simple steps, you can transform your images into beautiful works of art using Photoshop. Give it a try and see what amazing effects you can create. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay up to date with more of my content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, if you found this helpful, why not give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions, thoughts or feedback, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. 
stay tuned for our next video until next time happy editing